All right, good afternoon, folks. Hey, how are you guys doing? Wolf on Duty bringing you guys another one. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. And this one here is a bit different again. I'm going to have to rain down a godly firestorm on you. And thank you for viewing this video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon above, and then of course hitting the bell icon to get notifications when the next video drops. So here we go. Um, we're doing well art. Um, again, these are three D prints that I, that I make and everything else. That oh, I won't do it like this. You'll see this one right here. This is the latest one I made. This is going to be for my son's birthday and everything else. That but I've had other ones that I've made again this is completely made by me hand drawn everything else so that you know this is no one else's design but my own so again this is one of the things where um, I hand make stuff and everything else that uh, we're working on right now now we're not going to fully paint it today and everything else that again I don't have the the time to paint it today so again I still haven't unwrapped it yet you're still not seeing the full design yet everything else that so let's hopefully we can pop this off route breaking the little detail stuff you can see a little bit of wispy stuff still on it and everything else that that i basically need to heat up with um low torch or wire something to that effect to get it off of course this is actually harder than what it was supposed to be now you have to be very careful with these things because it, again it has the outer shell on it but you don't want to break the actual so art itself so why is that actually coming up i have no idea so you have to try to break this off carefully without breaking the actual work itself, which is in its in and of itself very freaking hard. Press one a little bit, see if you can work it. You know, see if you can get it. See if you can get it to where it's it's will work effectively and everything else. And sometimes it won't. That's part of the issue with these things and everything else. And this is you you have and <laughs> you have to be very careful with this um because if you don't you'll screw up your whole artwork and well you'll have to then after that basically repair it and we don't want to make repairs again we're we're trying to get this done like this now again you see how it looks right now before got it partly off again looks kind of orange because of the way the light is and everything else that and it, it's just cannot be helped but once we get the main thing off of there, then we'll show it, it in its entirety and see if we can put the light on it effectively without messing it up. Again, you have to get all sides off it. And you want to try to peel if you can in one direction. So that way it can basically lose its entire integrity in, in like a string. If you try to break it off, you know, hard, especially delicate parts like the tail where you can see where it's one and everything else that it can make you have a really really bad day Oh, 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 yep, yeah, we no, we just broke the foot again. This is why, and I say that you can mess up badly because that's the foot. Now I have to re glue the foot on. You can see that the print actually did correct here. I can see that, but now I have a foot missing that I have to fix, which happens from time to time. Again, that's why it's really when it comes to prints. You can mess it up bad, but and that one broke flush, so I can glue it and sand it back on. So I know around the feet area is going to be very difficult. Now, now that I know that, mm, how do I how do I get this foot over here without snapping the foot, which we know is going to be a weak joint. Now, the funny thing is when I did print it, I did actually use extra filler in certain areas to make sure that it would have strength 
but I'm literally trying to bend the plastic to get the support off. And unfortunately, you know, uh oh, I think I got the foot off this time around breaking it. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. I got the foot off while breaking it. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So again, uh, this is what drives me absolutely crazy. Now, since it's a, a foot, I can fix this quite easily because of the way the design is and everything else to that, that again, since it sits with the way it does, that would be no problem to fix. I just got to use some crazy glue or some super set glue and now to be fine. But the problem, the main problem would be if I break off the tail, if the tail comes off, you cannot fix this easily. Why? Because it doesn't have enough. See how thin it is. It doesn't have enough surface area for you to fix it back the way it's supposed to be. So again, this is an easy fix. I just have to find the glue layer and everything else today and again, pop it back on. Cause again, since it sits flat and the mostly pressure is going to be on that, that's an easy, thankfully. So now you can be, you should be able to see detail in the eyes. Now, again, this is not painted yet. I still have to paint it and everything else with it. I still have a little bit of sanding that I need to do. Um, once I do that, but I just I'm trying to show you the detail in like, yeah, there's, you can see the detail in the, the thing. You can see. His packs on it. Like if anybody's seen the Deadpool characters, so you know, he his belt is a certain type of way. And it wraps all the way around. And then let's show you the back. Now, yes, it's Deadpool Pikachu. So again, he still has. You'll see them right here. These came out really gorgeously. There's no layer shift again. Um, I take my time when I do my 3D prints to make sure that I try to watch it as much as possible. So literally I'm in the same room where my prints are. So if it's a 12 hour print, I'm there for the full 12 hours to see if make sure my cats don't jump on, on the, in the area, make sure that, that whatever I can do to make sure that it's not jostled because any jostling will make the print go well, wacky. Um, this is one of the ones where it's really came out really nice. Um, I'll have like the minimum sanding time on this because a, most of the print came out, I mean, supremely perfectly. Um, you can even see right here the strap that goes across them and everything else. That. And again, you can see the inlay of the collar. So all of this will be um, painted. But I wanted you guys to get a first look at, again, Deadpool. Now, again, unfortunately, I know next time that I need to do a little bit more with the info of, of this one here. So that if I need to make another print for that, if I made a print for someone else, I would make sure that I double the info for, for, for this section here more than what I normally do it. Um, this is a 25% info mostly, but around the feet and things like that and areas like this, it's more like 50% um, infill. Um, you don't want to make it 100% because at that point you're making just one big thing. And even with these so that you can specify you know, how many lines that you want on the outside and then make the infill minimum. So these actually have three lines and then the infill in between it. So that's why it's literally, this thing is solid. I mean, if it, you, if I, I'm gonna press it and I'm gonna show you, you can see the compression in my hands with all my strength and everything else like that. The main body, even the head, will not break. Now, again, weak points are always going to be areas like where it meets the tail. You can, again, you can see how thin that area is. So again, I made that with a higher thickness um, with line thickness and also the infill with this, I made it at, well, with the outside back sections, I made the infill with these at um, 50% 50, 50 infill. The feet, I made, oh, sorry, I made these with, uh, the, the, uh, sorry, these are three lines with, that uh, you can make it separated. 
Um, I'm going to show you the, the, the print right now, but you can make the infill as good as you want, or it can be as hard as you want. And I'm going to show you exactly what my infill is for most of the print. Again, next time I know I'll have to change the infill density for where the feet, feet is because that it was a weak spot and it's just unfortunate that I, I broke it off. But literally once I glue it, you will not be able to see it, especially the way it stands and sits. And literally I can sit it down right now. And you would never know it's broken. It's literally um, completely stable the way it is. So yeah, this is one of the things where your prints come out really stable if you know exactly what you're doing. Um, I've been doing this a, a long enough that I can, again, make design fully things like this and paint it myself. So that's, that's, what, you, that's what you're aiming for. This is something that y you can sell, you can give as a gift, you can do other things and you would not be able to tell this from some of the other items that people actually have made. And again, this is just as strong. Literally, I, I, I can press, you can get a uh, vice grips and you'll mess up the paint, uh, obviously, but you'll be able to press on this inside with vice grips and you won't be able to bend it until the point where it literally snaps the um, shatters like it was glass because again, how thick the, um, the project is. So I'm gonna show you now the high res image of this. So you'll actually see what I made and how I changed the infill from certain sections. So you can literally be like, okay, well, how do you go from making a design to making a print to everything else like that? And how does it affect? Um, okay, you can see it's another day and I wanted to show you the finished product of Deadpool. Now we will go into a tutorial on, on um, how to actually print it, how I actually did it. Um, and that'll be a separate video. Basically it's going to go through the steps of how to basically make this a lot stronger. So don't break and everything else. So that again, you can see the feet. There we go. You can see the full shot of Deadpool and everything else so that you can see the feet how again, Paint it. You can see the fine detail that's inside of it. Again, you can see the back, you can see the painting. Colors going on a bit a little. So again, this is Deadpool. Pikachu Deadpool. So again, thank you guys for watching. Warp on the three. Saying warp out. Have fun. And part two will be coming up. So again, you can catch us the next one. You have a great day. Bye.